the kids at the playground are playing the kids bop CD again. And I don't know how much more of it I can take. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Tom. Um, so yeah, we are back with another scam. Oh my god. We are back with scam reaction to episode two this time of season three. We're going through season three, aka the queer season. So last time, Isak met Evan and also Emma. Oh, I remember. And they went to the Cosa Grupa. They went to the, the Cosa Grupa meeting. And uh, Evan took all the paper towels from the bathroom. And then they hung out on a bench and chatted for a bit. And then Emma came and uh, broke up the vibe. And that's where we left off. <laughs> and it was fairly obvious that Isak had a thing for Evan. And Evan was definitely projecting some interest in the direction of Isak. Many glances were exchanged. And that's where we left off. So today we're going to look at episode two, which is called something. Oh, it's called You're 18, right? <laughs> and I don't even know if that's like the official title or just a name that the people who added the subtitles gave to it. But that's what we'll call it. So putting in my earphone in the wrong ear, apparently. Putting in my other earphone. There we go. I noticed in the last video, like, because of where I was holding my phone, my eyes were like this the whole time, <laughs> and I don't think that's a particularly attractive look, so I'm going to try really hard to, like, hold the, hold my phone up to where I can see it, and my eyes are, like, open for the camera, but not so high that you can see the phone, so it's a delicate balance. My eyes open, yeah. Open eyes. <laughs> Keep them open. Still recapping, still recapping. <coughs> we're coughing, we're coughing. Okay, now we're starting. Alright, it's 11 11 on Sundag. We have a skilled looking through grinder while Isak searches for Evan on social media. They never really spell it out, but I think the reason why um, Isak can't find Evan on any social media seems to be like, you know, after the whole blow up with Mikhail and. Uh, son his brother Elias that whole group the balloon squad um, it seems like he just like deleted all his social media and disappeared from the face of the internet but Isak doesn't know that so he's continuing to look for Evan and Isak always trying to pretend like, oh, what do I know? I can't tell if he's handsome or not. Han skriver at han ikke er homo, men at han liker å suge kukk. Hva faen? Gutt min, du har et år, så er du ute av skabbet ditt. Grubhub. Leave me alone, Grubhub. I'm trying to watch a video. Eskil, hvorfor, hvorfor tror du at alle gutter er homo? Jeg tror ikke at alle gutter er homo, Isak. <laughs> This seems like an odd question from, uh, from Isak. I mean, I assume he's... he's uh, working from various times that Eskild has implied that someone was gay. But, like, when you're literally talking about a guy who is on Grindr soliciting sex with another man, like, I think I think it's safe to say that he's, he might not be straight. I mean, he might not be gay either. He might be bi. But nonetheless, like, I think we can assume that something is going on there. I have a good gay dar. Do And I do love how we have Eskild, like, talking about how good his his gaydar is while he's sitting next to Isak, who in a previous episode last season, Eskild said, like, no, Isak's not gay. Nora and Ava wanted him to do some digging and figure out if Isak was gay or not. And he's like, nah, he's not gay. Good questions. <sighs> okay. Ja, et klu er for eksempel at man begynner å snakke med fremmede gutter om suging. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, and in this moment, you have to wonder if uh, Isak is thinking about the fact that that's literally what Evan did uh, the first time they met when they were talking about what the love game entailed at Cosa Grupa. Hi! Nora. Nej, det går bättre nu. Han har riddat lite. Så det luktar helt. 
seems like every time a skilled and Nora talk, a skilled has to mention how much worse it is living with Isak than living with Nora. Mandag, 8, 10 a.m. Okay, and here goes Isak trying to figure out Evan's full name from the class roster. I assume that's what that is. Now, is that the teacher with the with the breasts, or is that that was that sounded weird? But if you saw the last episode, you know what I'm talking about. Because if so, it would be weird that we actually get to see that she has a head and a face. <laughs> Still no luck finding Evan on social media, or at least on Facebook. This was back in the long ago days of 2016, 2017, when, like, people still used Facebook and it was cool and hip. <laughs> now it's just boomer memes. Even people who aren't boomers post boomer memes. It's like the rule. Alright, so we've done a Google search. I didn't realize it the first time through, but this is Mikhail, who we see in uh, Season 4 who is the one we learn, spoilers for season four, incoming here, uh, but we learn that Evan had a thing for him and tried to kiss him, and Mikhail kind of freaked out, and that's what led to Evan moving schools and all of the crap that happened then. So, oof. So watching this video now has kind of a different feel to it, especially when Mikhail is talking about how, like, Evan is his best bud and stuff like that, so. Hey dog, this is Captain I'm his best buddy, Evan. Captain America and Black Vladimir Putin in love with each other. Sarah Palin has bewitched them. This is just a very Evan thing to do. Like this, this plot to this to this movie. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I would watch it. Bro, I'm a favorite Serious. Serious. Now Mikhail is horrified that Baz Luhrmann is Evan's favorite director, but I quite like Baz Luhrmann. I don't think every, I don't love everything he's made, but like. There's a lot of cool creativity going in there. Like, I loved Romeo and Juliet when I saw it. And, um, of course, I was a teenager at the time. But, um, oh, and uh, The Great Gatsby is visually stunning. So, he's not bad. <laughs> but yeah, very important line here. The main characters must die, otherwise it's not an epic love story. So this is one of those things that's setting up, setting us up for uh, episode 8 when, well, we'll talk about that when we get to episode 8. <laughs> I love the little smile Isak has while he's watching. And then slams shut the laptop like he's watching porn or something. Like, obviously Sana would not think anything of it if she looked over and... Isak was watching a video of some dude talking about a movie, but nonetheless, he feels very guilty. I do love how they include so many subtle signs of how, like, Isak never comes out and said, haha, Isak never comes out and says that he has feelings for Evan in these earlier episodes, but it's so clear in every single thing he's doing, and I love that kind of showing rather than telling. <laughs> Okay, and Sana still holding the drugs hostage. Not their not their brightest plan to do this right here at the beginning of class. Nothing. Badass move from Sana putting it in her in her hijab. And I did wonder if that's how she she smuggled it out of Ava's house in in the last episode, like. Maybe she hid it. She probably hid it in her hijab. So. What was it you put up in burqa? Then, no. Burqa, min. Niqab, da. Niqab. You can't even name it by the flag. Ten percent of the people you use. Are you racist? This is some great misdirection by Isak, accusing the the breasts of racism. Onstag. Um, uh, Vilde. Jag tänkte på blir det några fler såna kosegruppmöter. Så otroligt hyggligt att engagera dig. Another subtle sign of uh, Isaks interest in Evan that 
being unable to contact him on social media and not being in the same class as him, he's like, ah, what about Cosa Grupa? If we have another meeting, I could run into him there. And poor Vilda is like, oh, you like, you like Cosa Grupa so much. That's wonderful. That was, that was my Vilda voice. We should not have any group meeting this week, but next week is it going to be Revy Fest? Maybe you can have it. Uh, why? Because mom is going to be in the morning. Yeah, another thing that definitely hits differently is um, Vilda talking about her mom holding a wine gathering after what we learn of her in the, uh, the last season, in the next season, which is also the last season. But you can have it. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Isak doing some complicated mathematics in his head. He's like, I don't want to host a Cosa Grupa party, but if I do host the party, Evan will come. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You tell him, Vilda. Another very interesting thing here is like right as Vilda says sexual orientation, that's when Isak notices Evan walking by. I want to be someone else. Evan is damn attractive. Like Henrik Holm is is a good looking dude. And guess who interrupts it? Who could it be? Literally blocking Evan from view with her head. And it takes a sec for Isak to snap out of his like Evan daydreams. I love how scandalized Vilda is by this whole interaction. Freda. I don't know. Now, I do think that Isak handled this whole situation pretty badly with uh, Emma's party and the guys and everything. Like, he could so easily have just told Emma, I'm sick, I'm not coming. Told the guys, I'm sick, I'm not coming. And given the guys the info so they could go to the party. Like, it would have been so simple. But obviously, he was not thinking clearly at the time. He was not thinking straight. I'll see myself out. Fredak? 1 a.m., wow. So it's 1 a.m. and he's watching Evan's movie again. Bro, that's my favorite That's normal. This is so accurate, though. Like, who among us has not looked into some piece of media or some band or something strictly because our crush was into them? So he looks up Baz Luhrmann, looks up Romeo and Juliet. I don't want to date myself, but I did see this in the theater when it came out. Okay, Romeo, Romeo og Julie. Julie? Julie? I don't know. I do, I do not speak Norwegian. Disclaimer. It's probably very obvious, though. I think most people are aware of this who are aware of this season, but like... The Romeo and Juliet parallels are very clear, like, and I think it's great that they not only mention the movie, but show us some of the scenes that get paralleled as we watch Isak watching the movie. So first of all, there's the music. They use the same exact song from Desiree, I'm Kissing You, in this and then in the pool scene later. So we have Romeo and Juliet kissing in the pool. Mm. We have them lying together in bed. Juliet lying seemingly dead for Romeo to find. And oh, Isak is moved. It was very sad. Like The ending of that movie is very, I mean, obviously it's Romeo and Juliet, but they did a really good job with it. All right, so Isak questioning life, questioning the world, feeling his feelings. <laughs> that should be a meme really <laughs> and then he does an interesting thing so well he looks for evan one more time on facebook still doesn't find him so he opens up grinder and we know that he's been on grinder before because he does not make a new account he downloads it 
and then he signs in. So it seems like he's downloaded it before and deleted it. So here he's downloaded it again, logs in, and then immediately is bombarded by <laughs> by messages, which that seems pretty I like his jeans. I would wear those jeans. Alright, it's Ray, Doug. So it's time for the Emma party. The guys are walking around, walking out of school. Yeah, what the hell? You excuse me, man. Huh? Yeah, for the fest that Ine and Hedda had together. And then collectively we decide that Isak is the one who must acquire the beer. Why doesn't Madi have a bag? Where's your stuff, Madi? <laughs> and just happens Hello? to be standing next to our favorite Evan. Hello. Shut up, Hello. Isak is is acting. I I I think it's interesting how Isak is acting here. Like he's he's being very shy and not really saying much, and. Um, keeping his eyes kind of down, which is something we see a lot when he's, well, in the beginning of their relationship, and especially here in a public setting, seeing Evan where he didn't expect to see him. Like, he's spent all this time trying to trying to find Evan on social media, like, trying to, you know, actually offering to host a Cosa Grupa party so that he can hang out with Evan and then here's Evan and Isak is like oh my god I don't I don't know what to say <laughs> but lots of cute smiling at each other at least du er, du er 18, ikke sant? Kunne kanskje kjøpe litt øl? Du klarte å glemme en legg. Må jeg må hente det. Bli meg. And I wonder if Evan legitimately forgot his ID here or if this is just a ploy. And here here's another one where like Evan says, okay, we're going, and just goes, and he sucks, stands for a second, thinks, and then follows him. Hello? Here we are at Evan's place, which I assume is like a flat share, kind of similar to the, the deal that Isak has going on. There's a lot of coats hanging up over there. Got cool guitars, cool stuff on the walls. Part of time, was that? Yeah. <laughs> He's not just looking very delighted at being in Evan's room and looking at his stuff. Is that Danny? You found him? No, but... Hey! And finally they can have a conversation without Emma interjecting. Just go out early, I don't know. It's good, right? I think this is this scene. I feel like this scene is the first time we really see Isak with kind of all his guards down, just being himself. Because he's he's always putting on a show, like putting on a performance for everyone else that he spends time with. Like with the guys, he's the bro, and with the girls, he's the charmer. And like when he's with Evan, though, he just he's just himself. And it's clear how how much he's enjoying just spending time with him. What heard about? I was to hear about music. Uh, I also saw a, a WA fan, but... Uh, er det the gear that I felt like I was going to school? Have you heard something about... Mass. Mass. Can you hear it? Have you heard it? No, I have heard it. Mass? 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 Have you heard it that time? I have heard it that time. It sounds like that, guys. It does very much seem as if Isaac has never heard of Nas before. Judging by the judging by how he reacts, but he's trying to pretend like, oh yeah, no, of course, yeah, I know, I know who that is, one hundred percent. But Evan's not falling for it. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's so happy. They're both so happy. Just spending time together. Honestly, just having a good conversation with somebody you like. And this look, where Isak looks up at him. Ah, it's just everything in that glance. Shit, and then Evan glances over and Isak looks away. Oh god, the, the sweaty cheese. 
It's probably fine, but I would not eat that. I mean, I would not eat that cheese regardless. But if it was vegan cheese, I would not eat that cheese if it was out all night or out all day. So here's their their Cosa Grupa uh, cooking experiment, I guess. No. Of course, Isak can't take his eyes off Evan every opportunity to stare at him. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> I didn't notice before, that, but they're actually wearing like practically matching outfits. They both have gray sweatshirts and, and black pants, which we see later on. We see next season when they move in together and they answer the door to Sana wearing like identical outfits with the white shirt and the khaki pants. It started here. Last bit, uh, man. And here comes an absolute abomination. Chili? Chili. Always chili. Just smell it? No, not masa masa. Not not lots of rosemary. Isak's phone just going crazy in the background, and he has eyes only for he has eyes only for Evan. Isak about to make a big old mistake. That's a record just fucking ball. Man, we can't kiss new laws. And Isak repeats, we can't turn back now, and then sends the text. So lying to Emma, and then lying to Jonas and the guys. Clearly did not think this through, because, I mean, super easy for them to find out that he's lying here. He's a boy in love, what is he to do? Det var noe som ikke passet på deg, altså. Det er helt forferdelig. Det var så ille at det var godt, på en måte. Nei, det var så ille at det var enda mer ille. Unnskyld meg, det var du som fikk oss til å ta alt det krudret på. You offered all the spices, though. Det er veldig viktig å ha masse kardemom med. Det er det som er trist, det. Kardemom! Har du fått den god? And again, we never see Isak joking like this, even with his best friends, so... The fact that he feels this comfortable with Evan so quickly just says a lot about how good they are for each other. Oh god, the rapping. <laughs> the whitest boy from the whitest country is going to rap for us. E-box, give me the beat! Come in! Shut up! It's not Emma this time, it's worse. I haven't heard no one before first, but it's just going to be Emma Sörl. Isak looking a little disappointed that it's not going to be just the two of them anymore. Oh, Isak, you have no idea what's coming, bro. Alright, so, hey. Hey, Elisa. Hey, Elisa. Isak. Hey, Elisa. Isak, Eskild. Oh, this is Sonja. That's it. Sonja, hey, Elisa. My biggest question in this scene, though, is what Evan is thinking about because I feel like it's pretty clear that Isak has feelings for Evan and Evan has feelings for Isak in this moment and yet he doesn't hesitate to be like hey this is Sonia my girlfriend <laughs> like um so I'm not sure what's going through Evan's mind at this point but I welcome your speculations <laughs> and this is a brilliant shot where we just have um kind of Evan and Sonia sort of out of focus and then Isak between them just getting more and more depressed. I'm sure he's running everything that's happened through his mind and being like, man, I must have really misread this. And of course, Isak has been caught in his lie. <laughs> so things are pretty bad all of a sudden. Went from very, very high to very, very low. And that's the end of the episode. The end of episode two. Yeah, so um, another pretty solid episode. I think um, once we get to episode three, I think things really pick up and uh, the season just gets better and better and better as it goes along. Um, but yeah, this is a good episode as far as I like, as I said before, I like that we see the subtle signs of Isak's interest in Evan, how it's never outrightly stated, but nonetheless we're shown all these things that he's doing that clearly point to him having a huge crush on Evan. And I mean, we find out later, and I said this last time too, but we find out later that Evan saw Isak on the very first day of school and was interested in him. So clearly he returns these feelings 
and they have a, an amazing afternoon together, you know, talking and making horrible sandwiches and eating horrible sandwiches. And then in comes Sonia. And, you know, Evan's like, yeah, this is Sonia, my girlfriend, smooch, smooch, smooch. And Isak's world crumbles. But wait for next episode, Isak. Just just wait. Just hang in there. It's going to be okay. I mean, it's going to be good and bad and good and bad and good and bad and good and bad and really bad and then really good. And then, but it's going to be okay eventually. So, okay. Well, that concludes uh, my, my thoughts on this episode. I hope to return later with episode three and other things. So, yes. <laughs> All right. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And, um, yeah, feel free to follow me on social media if you use social media. And if not, go on Facebook and look at boomer memes, I guess. I don't know. All right. See you next time, guys. Bye.